In Space Watch, physicists may have to update their models of the universe. According to a new study, it's expanding faster and is younger than previously thought. New data published in the Astrophysical Journal suggests the universe is expanding 9% faster than previously calculated. The report says experts may need to come up with new physics to explain the phenomenon. Joining us now is physicist and CBS News contributor Michio Kaku. He is also the author of the bestseller, The Future of Humanity, Our Destiny in the Universe. Michio, thank you so much for being with us. Can you just help me understand in layman's terms, how was this discovery actually made? Well, you know, there's a Nobel Prize waiting for the person who could figure this out. If yeah. any of your viewers ever figured this out, <laughs> be sure to tell me first. Okay. Here's how it works. We measure the expansion of the universe today and compare it with the expansion of the universe billions of years ago, and we find a mismatch, a 9% mismatch. We're missing something. Okay. You see, when a yellow star moves away from you, light is stretched like an accordion. So yellow light becomes slightly reddish. When we look in outer space, what do we see? Slightly reddish galaxies. Bingo! The universe is expanding. And we have this Big Bang that we all know and love, the Big Bang Theory, but we run the videotape backwards. When you run the videotape backwards, that allows you to calculate the age of the universe. Bingo! And that's how we calculate the age of the universe. The universe we think now is maybe a billion years younger than we previously thought. A billion years younger. younger. And how old is it then? Well, we thought it was 13.8 billion years using satellite data from the Europeans, okay. analyzing the universe when it was very, very young. Mm -hmm. Now we're looking at the universe today, not billions of years ago, and we find a mismatch, 9% mismatch. So instead of being 13 or so billion years old, the universe might be 12 or so billion years old, and all the textbooks have to be rewritten. And so um, the notion of this discrepancy, is there anything that accounts for that? We may have to put a fudge factor into Einstein's equations. Mm. Einstein's equation gives you the framework for this expanding universe. Okay. But we have to put a fudge factor. This fudge factor is called dark energy, the energy of nothing. Even nothingness has some energy, and it's repulsive, and it's pushing the galaxies apart. It's the energy of the Big Bang, basically. I see. So that didn't get factored in initially. And... We put it in, but now we have to keep on revising how big it is. It's bigger than we thought. Okay. And that's caught all, a lot of us with our pants down. Now we realize, oh my God, we don't really know the universe as well as we thought. Well, so this th notion of the Hubble constant, can you explain that? What is that? Well, the farther a galaxy is away from us, the faster it moves. In other words, the universe is a balloon. Mm -hmm. Any two dots on the balloon, the farther you are away, the faster it expands. Mm -hmm. And so a balloon blowing up, a balloon is the simplest example of Hubble's constant. We are like bugs walking on the surface of this balloon, but it's the expansion of the balloon that's called the Big Bang Theory. Hmm. And so uh, you mentioned uh, Einstein's theory of relativity. What does that mean for our understanding of that? Well, it means that our conception of the universe is incomplete. We have this big bang, but we don't know why it banged. We don't know what banged. We don't know where the bang is going. We just know there was a bang. Yeah. So you see there are a lot of gaps in Einstein's theory. But Einstein's theory is the overall architecture for understanding the origin of the universe. All right, well, you'll come back when you fill in those gaps for us, right? That's right. Okay, Michio Kaku. And we'll share the Nobel Prize. Okay, fantastic. Michio Kaku, thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.